Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I am going to go over the differences between a regular slouch coat and a short version slouch coat and also the different compositions of fabric. I only have two. I have a virgin wool cashmere blend and a camel hair blend so I'm going to go over those two and talk a little bit about that. But before we begin, I do want to apologize. I'm sorry this video took a little bit longer to produce for you guys than regularly, but I just wasn't wearing the camel version because I got it when Harley passed and it made me think of that time period and it made me think of sadness. So I put all that stuff away and I never looked at it again. And I know I should probably just wear it, but grief works differently for everyone. And it was just, I was not ready for it at the time, but I've been slowly taking it out and wearing it because I do truly love the color. Guys, sorry about that little ramble. I just wanted to mention why I didn't film this earlier for you guys. That is literally the reason. So let's get to it. So I own two slouch coats at the moment. I have the 2021 version of the virgin wool cashmere blend and then I have the 2022 version of the camel hair blend. So this is my first coat that I ever purchased from them. It is the Babaton slouch coat. It's in a size 2. As of right now it is letter sizing small medium large that kind of sizing it's like extra small small medium large sizing this was one two three sizing I'm pretty sure a two is like a like between a small medium large and then obviously size one was like extra extra small extra small small and then a three would probably be like a medium medium large extra large kind of sizing so I went with this I am 5'4 and I do have to roll up the sleeves I'll show you in the try on what it looks like on me but I love this coat so much originally when I purchased this I wanted a cream colored coat and they didn't have it in stock anymore it was gone it was sold out and I was so devastated when I ordered this and it looked oatmeal like this is like very oatmeal-y it's not cream at all you can see I'm wearing cream I wanted cream and this is very oatmeal it's like grayish oatmeal weedy color and I was so disappointed I remember telling Lauren or Al Valakit on YouTube here you guys know who she is and I was like Lauren this is not the color I wanted but I ended up keeping it anyways like I was talking to Alex about it last year I was like I ended up keeping it anyways and now I love the color so much I'm very very glad I picked it up I do believe that they have a true like cream aspeny white color this year and I think Lauren picked it up this one is made of 90% virgin wool and 10% cashmere the lining is 100% cupro and interior lining is 94% polyester polyester and 6% elastane. They do still sell this version, this um, cashmere and virgin wool, but I believe it only comes in black at the moment. Also on special order and it doesn't ship until May, which is crazy. Who would need a wool coat in May? But that's what it is. I know they do have a ton of other compositions of fabric. So right now they have the re-camel wool. The re-camel wool is 71% camel hair, 21% virgin wool, 8% polyamide, and the lining is 100% cupro. Interior lining is 94% polyester and 6% elastane. They also have the herringbone wool cashmere, and I believe Lauren pointed it out that this one is not a good deal because... It is 65% wool, 31% polyamide, 4% cashmere. So it is advertised as a wool cashmere blend, but 31% of it is polyamide. So Lauren pointed that out and I didn't even realize that. That's not that great. So body lining is 100% cupro again. Sleeve lining is 100% viscose. Interior lining is 94% polyester and 6% elastane. Just the whole composition of the wool is a little bit less. Like you get 65% wool and 4% cashmere. So less than 70% of the coat is made out of like a warm fabric. Um, I think that has to do with like the herringbone pattern. But for the price you're paying, because all of these coats are about the same price, they are all 398 Canadian dollars. That's actually insane. They also have the slouch in wool boucle, and the wool boucle is 100% wool. That's all it is. It's 100% wool, and I think that's the one that Whisper White is in. Yes, it is. So I think it's a little bit of a different composition in fabric. It looks a lot more flexible and moldable, whereas this wool cashmere version is really stiff. 
and typically I wouldn't like that but I actually love it in this coat I know Lauren finds it annoying but I really like it in this coat absolute last version is the Melton wool which is 94% virgin wool and then 6% uh, nylon all these jackets are $398 across the board they're all the same price but everything kind of just depends on like what colorway and style you're looking for if you want a more structured jacket you definitely should go for this one you can see like it looks it's very felty as they mentioned it has this really nice large lapel there is four buttons and then it is double breasted there's a button on the inside where you can button and then it stays this way there's an inside pocket here that's lined and you can button it as well and then there are two side pockets as well i've opened mine here in the sleeves they're just regular sleeves just so you guys know you're supposed to take off the little tag that's here this is what the tag looks like i actually took it off and it was in my pocket they're typically sewn here there's like four little threads and you can just cut the thread here don't cut the coat cut the thread here and then you should be able to just rip this off and then those little thread pieces should just rip off i really should have saved it so i could show you guys but yeah um i don't have that to show you guys but that's what it looks like back here there's no like seam or opening it's just straight across the back here okay and then i did discover that there's a button here that i've never unbuttoned and you can technically button the coat up like this hilarious because i've never unbuttoned it and it's still wrapped so yeah that is an option if you wanted to now here is the camel version i got it in this beautiful chocolate brown version and it is in a size medium truthfully between the small and medium there wasn't much of a difference on my body type but i just went with the medium because i like a good oversized coat you can see this one is so much more malleable it's also a lot less heavy like the wool cashmere version is very heavy compared to this one this one is nice and light but everything is the same double breasted really nice large lapel it also has the button here if you wanted to button it across it has the inside pocket on the right side here and then it has two pockets here that mine are sewn shut because i just have not had the chance to use them but you can see they just open up i just it literally opens up so really nice nothing no buttoning on the sleeves either it goes all the way down and in the back as well which one is warmer i wouldn't say either of them feel warmer but i think lauren did say she felt like this one was a lot warmer it might be because it's made of like the wool cashmere blend whereas this is the camel hair they're both in my opinion equally warm and i live in ontario just had that like winter storm right before christmas and did i wear these absolutely not i wore super buff but like these two they're pretty warm it just like one is definitely heavier and it's this one this one's so heavy this one's like a lot lighter so let's get to fit here is the length on me so my feeties are right here i don't know if you can see but i don't think it's like overly oversized i think it's perfection like i love this coat on me so much this is what the short version looks like on me you can see it's not that much shorter but it is a lot more fitted so I don't have to roll the sleeves up so it's at like my arms length this is a medium this is what it looks like if I buttoned it I also find the fabric is a lot more malleable so I don't feel like it's like extremely structured it lies really nicely and I'm telling you this coat specifically is so much lighter than the wool cashmere blend if you are a person who really hates like heavy coats do not go for the wool cashmere blend it's very heavy compared to the camel version this is the camel version the camel versions material is also a lot more textured when I show you guys up close I'll show you guys in a minute but yeah this version is like a lot more it's just a lot more casual 
So definitely recommend for anyone who is like 5'4 and under. If you are like me and you're just 5'4, then you can go for the regular size. I'm telling you, like there's really no difference. I would have bought the regular if it was in store, but the short was in store, so I just bought the short. But like that's really the only reason. But if you are under 5'4, then this short version will look a lot more tailored to your body versus like being overwhelmed by the regular size slouch coat. I'm sure the regular size slouch coat is fine, but definitely it is going to be a little bit longer on you because of the height difference, right? And I'm not saying I'm tall in any way, like I'm definitely average height, but. Just wanted to show you a close up of the difference between the fabrics. I hope you can see. See, you can see this one's like smooth and this one's a little bit textured there. And this one's like a lot more smooth. Anyways, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Also, I have eczema on my hands, but I started wearing rings again. Look at these two beautiful things. These are the heirloom rings from Majuri. This is the Marawa one, which is now discontinued. They had it for one day only. They brought it back as a pre-order, and then it's gone again. This one is Blue Topaz. This is in the regular collection, so you can still get it. I have a cigar band with three diamonds. This is a Eternity diamond band baguette. And then let's just go over jewelry, because sometimes I get questions. Curb Chain. This one is Wolf Palace. It has Harley engraved into it. You send a picture in, and then they engrave your dog or pet. And then same bracelets as always, curb chain, uh, bold spheres, and this is the paper clip chain. I have a little tiny opal dangling, and opal is actually the October birthstone, which is Harley's birthstone. So I wear that in memory of him. But yeah, that's my jewelry for today. I am a Majuri affiliate, so if you guys want to use my affiliate code it is always linked down below and i thank you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to follow me on instagram underscore hello harley make sure to follow me on tiktok at hello harley and i will see you guys in the next video